What's going on, NBA fanatics? This is your friendly neighborhood, Memphis Grizzly, home of Memphis X, and I talk hoops. Today, we are talking about the end of the regular season and having our playoff opponents reduce from potentially five to two. But first, every hero needs their theme music. Well, this crazy season has finally come to an end as far as the regular season goes. The Grizzlies in the regular season. 51 and 31, falling to the Oklahoma City Thunder on the road, which is basically the Memphis Hustle versus the Oklahoma City Blue. Um, neither one of these teams played any of their regulars. Anybody expected to get playoff minutes, I don't think, except for maybe uh, Usman Jean uh, and David Roddy. Maybe And maybe the outside chance that Zaire Williams has gotten himself together and he can get back in the rotation. But it was an interesting game. There was nothing exciting about it. There was not much you can take from it except Zaire Williams finally looked like himself. Um, it's been a while. The health, the tendonitis, all the problems he's had, the confidence issues. He finally looked like himself. He had 24 points, nine assists, four rebounds, nine of 19 from the field, three of eight from three point line, three of four from the free throw line. But the story of the day was the newest member of the regular roster, Mr. Kenny Lofton Jr. Yes, if you haven't heard, and I'm sure you have if you're a Grizz fan. Kennedy Chandler was weighed by the Grizzlies in order to make room to sign Kenny Lofton Jr. to a four-year deal. A hinky special, I believe is what we call them now. And they got Kenny Lofton locked up, and he promptly showed out 42 points, 14 rebounds, no assists. Uh, He was 17 of 25 from the field. 8 of 12 from the free throw line, only two turnovers. Uh, He was minus 17. But those are the little things. The Grizzlies were way down. They only played six players, including newly signed two-way guy, Jacob Gilliard. Uh, And, of course, John Conchar played, took five shots, only made one, and had two points in a game that was basically a G League game. Now, there's not much you can take away from this game. I would not try to take anything from this game, except that what we already knew, that Junior has started looking like a player. As soon as they they got more time with him in the regular lineup, he looked pretty good, even with the regular guys. A guy that can be your fourth big. Um... Zaire Williams looked like a guy that might be able to get back into the playoff rotation. Depends on how the coaches can trust him, but we already seen last year that he was able to contribute on a playoff team, so we can't act like it's just out of the ordinary for him to make a contribution to a playoff team. But like I said, the Grizzlies ended up 51-31 and for the year, five games off of last year's pace with a tumultuous year. It was also the news that Steven Adams is not likely to return for the playoffs, but he is still working out before every game. So, you know, it is what it is. The Grizzlies are waiting on the the winner of the play-in game between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have their own issues. And... It seems like most of the national media has made it a foregone conclusion 
that the Lakers will be moving on to the second round, past the play-in already, already past the first round, and on to the second round against the Warriors, who also have already been anointed a second-round team by the most of the national media. And we're going to see what the Kings and the Grizzlies have to say about that, and also the Timberwolves. Uh, but, you know, it's a small market versus a uh, big market thing. Um, for some reason, the Grizzlies' lack of respect this offseason, this postseason is going to run rampant. People are going to be saying how great the Lakers match up against the Grizzlies. And I just don't see it. But I will say my analysis until the – Matchup is set in stone. For now, I will be enjoying this day off the Grizzlies have. Well, this week off the Grizzlies have, but this day off without knowing who our first-round opponent is. And Tuesday night, we will get that settled and locked in. But until then, peace.